Welcome to the MBS Engineering Channel. Today, we are looking at understanding the fan affinity laws and how to calculate the flow volume, static pressure, and power consumption at two different speeds. We will discuss the above topics in the upcoming slides. Next, we learn to understand the fan affinity laws. The first point is, that the affinity laws can be used to calculate the resulting volume capacity, static pressure, and power consumption when speeds are changed, or wheel diameter is constant. The next point is, that it states the relationship between fan flow, static pressure, speed, and power consumption. Next, we learn about the formula for fan affinity laws. It states the relationship between a fan's flow, static pressure, speed, and power consumption. The first affinity law, fan speed is directly proportional to its flow. The fan speed, N1 is divided by N2 is directly proportional to its flow, Q1 is divided by Q2. Where N1 and N2 are speeds in RPM, revolution per minute where q1 and q2 are flow in cubic meters per hour next the second affinity law for fans static pressure is directly proportional to square of the speed the static pressure sp1 divided by sp2 is directly proportional to the square of speed n1 is divided by n2 where sp1 and sp2 are static pressure in mmwc at different speeds n1 n2 where N1 and N2 are speeds in RPM, revolution per minute. Next, the third affinity law for fan, power consumption is directly proportional to cube of speed. The power consumption, P1 is divided by P2 is directly proportional to the cube of speed N1 is divided by N2. Where, P1 and P2 are power consumption in kilowatts at different speeds N1, N2. Where, N1 and N2 are speeds in RPM, revolution per minute. Next, we learn the first affinity laws and simple calculations. The first affinity law is, fan speed is directly proportional to its flow. Assume that the speed of a fan was changed from 1100 revolutions per minute to 1480 revolutions per minute. If the gas flow at 1480 revolutions per minute is 6300 meter cube per minute, which was the gas flow at a fan speed of 1100 revolutions per minute. The fan speed, N1 divided by N2 is directly proportional to its flow, and Q1 is divided by Q2. Where, N1 and N2 are speeds in RPM, revolution per minute. Where, Q1, and Q2 flow in cubic meters per minute. The given data are, the flow Q2, is 6300 cubic meters per minute. Next, the speed, N1 is 1100 revolutions per minute. Next, the speed, N2 is 1480 revolutions per minute. Then, we need to calculate the Q1. Next, Q1 divided by 6300 is equal to 1100 divided by 1480. Please refer to the below step-by-step -step calculations. Based on the above equation and given data, the obtained value of the flow at a speed of 1100 revolutions per minute. The obtained flow Q1 is equal to 4682.43 cubic meters per minute. Next, we learn the second affinity laws and simple calculations. Next, the second affinity law for fans, static pressure is directly proportional to square of the speed. 
Assume, the speed of a fan was changed from 1100 revolutions per minute to 1480 revolutions per minute. If the gas static pressure at 1100 revolutions per minute is 200 mm water column, what is the pressure at a fan speed of 1480 revolutions per minute? The static pressure, sp1 divided by sp2 is directly proportional to the square of speed n1 is divided by n2. Where, sp1 and sp2 are static pressure in mmwc at different speeds n1, n2. Where, n1 and n2 are speeds in rpm, revolution per minute. The given data are, the speed n1 is 1100 revolutions per minute. Next. Speed N2 is 1480 revolutions per minute. Next, static pressure SP1 is 250 mm water column. We need to calculate the static pressure SP2. Then, 250 is divided by SP2 is equal to the whole square of 1100 divided by 1480. Please refer to the below step by step calculations. Based on the above equation and given data, the obtained value of the static pressure at a speed of 1480 revolutions per minute. Next, the static pressure SP2 is equal to 362 mm water column. Next, we learn the third affinity laws and simple calculations. Next, the third affinity law for fans, power consumption is directly proportional to cube of speed. Calculate the power consumed by an ID fan if its speed is reduced from 1480 RPM to 1100 RPM, take 120 kW of power consumption at 1480 RPM. The power consumption, P1 is divided by P2 is directly proportional to the cube of speed N1 is divided by N2. Where, P1 and P2 are power consumption in kilowatts at different speeds, N1, N2. Where, N1 and N2 are speeds in RPM, revolution per minute. Next, the given data are. The power consumption P1 is 120 kilowatts. Next. The speed N1 is 1480 revolutions per minute. Next, the speed N2 is 1100 revolutions per minute. Next, we need to calculate the P2. Then 120 is divided by P2 is equal to the cubic speed of 1480 is divided by 1100. Please refer to the below step-by-step -step calculations. Based on the above equation and the given data. The obtained value of the power consumption at a speed of 1100 revolutions per minute. Next, the power consumption P2 is equal to 49.26 kilowatts. I hope everyone understands the fan affinity laws and understands how to calculate the flow volume, static pressure, and power consumption at two different speeds. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more informational videos. Like and comment, please.